Yes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Welcome to Sweet Astrology. And we made it to the year 2023. So uh it's feeling pretty okay so far. <laughs> Alright. I hope everyone is doing okay. And I'm looking forward to having a great year. So I hope the same for you all. Now I'm gonna start off with this Libra video. Yes, yeah, so late, but so well needed at the same time. Um, it is Capricorn season, and I am here to speak on the difference between September Libras and October Libras. So stick around. Shout out to my Libra people as I represent that sun sign. I am heavily dominated by Venus twice, okay? <laughs> heavily ruled by Venus as well as Libra and some other signs that dominates my chart. First and foremost, thank you all. I really appreciate y'all. I encourage you all to subscribe to the motherfucking channel. <laughs> like these goddamn videos so it can continue to get out to more people. Now I'm just keeping it raw. I'm just being the Libra that I am. All right. <laughs> I really appreciate the support though. For real, for real. And this is all I ask for. I am committing myself to being more dedicated to this channel this year. This will be year two for Sweets Astrology channel. So to my real supporters, I really appreciate you all. And I ask for this only. That's it. Um, any requests, please let me know in the comment section. Any personal requests only relating to Zodiac astrology talk. Anything you need to know about your birth chart. Um, everything is free. I used to charge last year. Everything is free. This is my way of giving back. Hit me up in my email. That will be in the description box below. <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, speaking on the difference between September Libras and October Libras. They are ruled by Venus. Even though some of the Libra men can show otherwise. But yes, <laughs> still, we are ruled by the planet lover Venus. Libras at the same time comes in different types, just like every other zodiac sign out of the chart. Some Libras may be mistaken as another sun sign when it comes to people first meeting them. And it's okay for some of them to guess otherwise, but I don't know. Some people just really get turned off once they discover, oh, this is a Libra person. And it's probably because they done had a bad experience with a previous Libra person. <laughs> so they tend to run away. They tend to run off. Some people just don't want to deal with them, period. You know, I have to keep it real. Libra is the most hated sign out of the Zodiac chart. I swear, but you have to understand that Libras cannot be defeated. You know, some people may have them on the upper hand, but trust and believe if that Libra is a real Libra, they cannot be defeated. Um, blessed with great facial and body features, real raw talent. I mean, very smart people and know how to move and move quickly. These are the kinds of people that if you see in traffic and they swerving in and out. Oh, that, that may be an air sign and it may be a Libra. They can't be stuck in no traffic. They're air signs. They are gonna detour. <laughs> now, Libras attract a lot of people and things. So they will encounter a lot of you know, many different life experiences. They're going to come across many opportunities. Libras have to be careful, though, as they're journeying through life, you know, to make sure that they don't miss the big train that comes through every year for the ass. It may come through twice, <laughs> but they have to um, make sure that they're not, wasting their time because 
if they just not tap in, if they don't tap into themselves, nothing will prosper for Libra to be happy and to feel completed overall. They have to know what's their purpose here on earth or at least feel that whatever they're doing is their purpose. Okay. When speaking astrology, we must always consider our birth charts. We cannot just stick to our sun sign. And if you do, you know, hey, that's up to you because everybody is so committed to just their sun sign. But I'm here to tell you, that's not all that represents who you are. I also heavily consider the houses in your chart. Oh, it will give a deeper meaning about you, okay? <laughs> and it's critical for us astrologers to break down each individual. So the sun sign, rising, moon, Venus, Mercury, Saturn, Jupiter. It's so much, right? But it's, it's a breakdown. It helps us out and it can help you out as well. To better understand who the fuck is this person I'm dealing with and understand who, who is you if you struggle with that. If you struggle with that. Um, some of us probably can't relate at all to just the sun sign. And that's where the birth chart comes into play. So always combine your sun sign with your rising sign. When you read your horoscopes, when you listen to your tarot readers, don't just tap into that one sign. I promise you put those two signs together. You will see how well it coexists <laughs> for the ones that don't know. And also do that if you read up on other people, zodiac signs. Now, just like every other sign, Libras is broken up into sections, also known as deacons. And these sections help categorize certain Libra types. Now, don't get me wrong. We do have the full-blown Libras out here that literally carry all Libra traits. They may come in rare forms, but trust and believe, they out here. Also, keep in mind that September Libras... They share the month with Virgo, so it's Virgo Libra. Then you got the October Libras, share the month with Scorpio, Libra Scorpio, which mean, you know, some Libras can't pull from Virgo traits and Scorpio traits. And of course, it's aimed to the cusp li Libras. I noticed with Libras that the early born September Libras really carry a lot of Virgo traits and body features. The late October Libras carry a lot of Scorpio traits and body features. I noticed that. I've been getting these Libras confused sometimes. I'm like, ah, that's Scorpio shit. <laughs> and this can also be broken down to some Libras being verbal fighters. Oh, they'll fight you down with their words versus the other Libras that will really beat your ass. Okay. <laughs> now, Venus can be really good to Libras at times and can be really bad for Libras at times because I know Libras, we have to learn our lesson. And if we don't, oh, it comes and it shows. Overall, these types of people is considered to be very attractive. They are cursed with the sex appeals, okay? And may get treated just like sex objects. Nothing more, nothing less. Fashion trendsetters. Even if they can't dress themselves, they know how to create good fashion. You know, um, Libra people have to have uh, great clothing. They have to feel comfortable because if they don't, they won't feel their best every day. Libra people is very charming. So they will attract the charmers. Balance to them is everything. All right. These people can come into other people's lives and create balance for them. So some people may appreciate it and some people may not appreciate it. And you know what we say to those people? Fuck them. <laughs> and we move on. Now Libras is all about peace, love, and harmony as well as order. Now, Libras, yes, 
They come with their shenanigans too. I'm not taking away them being weird and maybe overstepping themselves and they giving off too much, you know. They have to know how to balance certain things out like that that I guess they may not know right offhand. Some people may not tend to tell them, you know. So that's that could be a struggle for Libra too. And it's a lot that also can go into a lot of dislikes for Libra versus Libra doing certain things that makes them look a little bit abnormal. <laughs> but, you know, they could be off the chain. They can be manipulators. They can be liars, drama queens and drama kings. All right. Even though they don't like personal drama, they don't. But having peace is the biggest for Libras at the end of the day. Regardless if that day came with some type of chaos. they rather not deal with ongoing drama. You know, you gotta nip it in the bud. They don't like shit to carry on to the next day. It just takes too much of their time and energy. And of course, it makes them unbalanced. Alright? We're talking about a scale. We're talking about air sign. <laughs> Now, the dates for Libra people starts with September 23rd through October 22nd. September Libra date starts with September 23rd through September 30th. Now, these types, okay, September Libras, you can really see the Venus glow with these types of people. You know, very interesting facial features that makes them look so adorable. And serious at the same time. Um, these types is really in touch with their intellectual side. And you can't forget that they do share the planet uh, Mercury with Virgo. Now, yeah, they may look serious most of the time, even though they have that, you know, that little cute boy, little cute girl features. And that's because they are serious. <laughs> For real. But they can lighten up when the mood is right. Trust and believe. You just gotta talk to them. They ain't got no beef. Ain't no problem. It's just they look more like the conservative, uh, classy types. Not all but some. And they can be the kind to easily charm people as well. Especially with their verbiage. I would consider most of September Libras to be uh, more reserved with a good sense of humor. The others that's not reserved is more wild and crazy. All right. <laughs> they love luxury items and can be also known to fulfill their professional achievements. Like whatever they decide to stick with or whatever they decide to pursue. Let me say that they stick with it. Let me say it like that. <laughs> they can be more of the discipline um, types of Libras, especially about their actions. All right. Maybe more strict with the militant mind frame. So, yeah, they they nine to five going to work. Um, they may possess about two, four, five, 15 jobs, but they're committed. They're loyal because they know they ain't really trying to really depend on nobody. More independent types. Very sharp-minded people as well. These types can be more involved with spiritual affairs to achieve the highest spiritual experience possible. <laughs> These types can be extremely romantic. It can work well for them. Or, like I said, it can work bad too. You know, depends on that September Libra. Some of them like to be adventurous and that will attract people to them. Some of them will struggle with real love, you know. Now, some September Libras, they're not the type to really settle so quickly. They may be in a relationship with you. They may have a kid with you, but uh, not the marriage types really, you know. They may leave a trail of kids around with randoms. Who knows? More of my Libra men, September's. Um, but you know, let's be clear. Some of them share that 
I, I keep saying it. And I'm going to keep saying it. I don't care if you get mad. That whore-like syndrome, all right, starting with Leo, Virgo, and hit Libra, hit Scorpio. It's really all of the zodiac signs, to be honest with you, pertaining more so for men. I'm not leaving out the women, but y'all men. <laughs> and some of these zodiac signs, okay, I think that what stands out the most. Some of them can be rolling stones, all right? Multiple kids with multiple women. But what really stands out at the end of the day uh, with September Libras, their hardcore determination and their consistency. They rather have the worldly possessions and feel like the top dog in whatever they choose to do. So they want to run a, a business. They got to be the CEO. Mm, maybe close to it, if not the CEO, but they got to be the CEO. <laughs> and it could be sad in some cases for Libras, but you know, they it's, it's the leadership. It's that natural leadership that they have within them. And they may also take on many roles. Um, they can be the type to protect their children if they have any. And they may put their kids' needs first, even if they are struggling. Some September Libras can have a lot of energy about themselves, always just on a go, just nonstop. And once something takes off of them, they will definitely show up and work even harder. They can be the artistic types, which may lead them to the darkest side of life and some Libras may can hang with that type of lifestyle some Libras may not because I know some September Libras um really just stick to a, a regular routine life don't really do too much you know they go to work take care of their family and go home and you know they may travel they may go out do this do, that's it but you got some other September Libras that's out there in them streets they outside okay <laughs> and if they dark sided then yeah they gonna be down for the shits all right they can also be known as the criminal types too out of the zodiac chart but not to the extreme though but yeah they can they can be known to be caught up with the um court system with some with some crazy shit going on now, as we trickle down towards the end of September Libras, these types may be more into the spotlight. They want to be the biggest entertainer and whatever passion they feel more connected to. These types is heavily gifted with the verbiage to be the perfect uh, public speakers, rappers, journalists, bloggers. These types could be more tight knit with family versus having a family on their own. You know, being more tight with their siblings, mamas, daddies, aunties, whoever. Um, not all, but for some, uh, September Libras may struggle to have a healthy relationship with their with their children. Okay, because it's a lot of opposing energy between them and their kids, and their kids could be a karmic lesson to them. It kind of relate back to what I was saying earlier. They may just be there more so financially and making sure that they're good roof over their head they go to school you know stuff like that and some september libras may not be the type to engage in too big crowds of people uh they may be more the type to you know scan the crowd observe watch and listen some of them may suffer from food addiction they may battle with sticking to uh, a strict diet but it don't have to really be a strict diet for libras it's just really about balancing eating better versus eating you know bad and this can also apply to their next door neighbor taurus because taurus also struggles with that venus gives these types of people very high quality tastes and when it comes to tasting food very high quality <laughs> some not all and this can apply to october libras as well they will exercise but their consistency may be their challenge 
them sticking to it may be their challenge. So, you know, they have to really mentally put everything into action. Um, don't get me wrong. You got some Libras out here that literally live by the gym code. Okay. Cause body image at the end of the day is very important to Libra people. And they know that that's kind of like how they make their money too. <laughs> um, sexually, these types can be really into giving the best pleasure possible. They tend to look for balance in the bedroom. So best believe if they feel that their partner, whoever they're dealing with, is given equal fairness in the bedroom, they will do the same. If they really want to just cater to that person, then that September Libra may just give that 100% and not expect anything, you know, equal from that person. It just depends. Uh, if this doesn't happen for them, they may not be fully connected to that person where the sex is just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sex to, uh, recommend for Libra or whatever, because it just depends. This is like a trick question. Um, it all range and different types of sex for Libra. Uh, it just really depends on their mood and their connection to that person it could go down either way for real also keep in mind that some maybe most libras isn't big on sex all right they would have to be in love with that person that person would really have to be loyal to that libra to bring that freak out because trust and believe is in there if you want to experience that venus okay <laughs> you want to take a ride um these types, okay, uh, may want to explore more, learn more. Their curiosity gets the best of them at times. So they have to research to find out things that can also apply to October Libras. They don't mind taking risks, just like their polarity sign, Aries. They don't mind taking on a challenge to get the job done. All right. And if they have to do some things and take certain positions that People may just really be like, uh-uh-uh. Some Libras don't give a damn. All right? But overall, September Libras can be the biggest peacemakers. They are the types that's more dedicated to their craft. Very disciplined people. Very articulate. Um, the cons to be the relationship-oriented types. You know, the ones that don't mind speaking real truth as well. Mm-hmm. They don't mind facing the big dogs. And you can put them with Sagittarius people. They'll let you know what it is. <laughs> they could be known to be the more of the fighters versus the lovers. All right. So don't try to play no September Libra now thinking that they won't get down with the get down because of the way they carry themselves. Because of the way they look. Yeah, they could be conservative and reserve all day. All right, but I'm telling y'all, they will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your ass too. <laughs> now, moving on to October Libra, starting with the dates October 1st through October 22nd. Please stick around because this year I'm getting all of the cuss videos out for each sign. So Libra, yes, you will have a cusp video by yourself. Um, it's a, it's important to me to do that because I want to explain the unique qualities that these cuss people have versus just a regular Libra. Cause you know, these unique qualities, some and most of these Libra people do not have. All right. Now these types, whoo, boy, oh boy, I always say. When you break them up in two, it's always the first half, they they okay, they all right. And it's always that second half, off the motherfucking chain. <laughs> Shout out or no. Nah. But I think what it is for October Libras, very misunderstood. When it comes to other people trying to understand the ass, trying to accept them and figure them out, okay? Okay. <laughs> 
Now, these types can be more bold and it makes sense. All right. Because the September Libras already set that statement for them. So especially the last September Libras. All right. They really have that bold confidence. So it trickles down to the second deacons of Libras. These types can um, experience some real rough times, but they tend to have the ability to bounce back. They have a stronger sense of style, stronger sense of fashion. Uh, they love getting attention, you know. They need to understand that too much attention is not good. But they love getting attention when they live in their best fucking life. Oh yeah, they want to show it off. They want that praise as well. Now, they take difficult times as life lessons. Like I said, they move on from it. Do not fall under pressure. All right? That's why a lot of people think Libras is not emotional people. Uh, they're the least emotional people, but don't think they don't have emotions. Libras have emotions. <laughs> not all, but some of these types likes to be involved in bad behavior activities. <laughs> but they may not really get too much into trouble behind these things. All right. I do believe that some of these Libras out here is lucky with the justice system. For real, for real. Now, at the same time. These Libras want to make a difference in the world with all the injustice that's going on. It's a lot of unfairness going on out here. So some, not all, they battle between, you know, living positively, between living recklessly. And it's up to that Libra which side of life they want to be on permanently. Some of them feel comfortable living that double life. Um, but hey, to each his own, because the ones that don't mind living that double life can learn a lot by not only being book smart, but by being street smart as well. They tend to manage average body weight. Libras don't have a problem working out from time to time. They don't mind eating a damn salad, but they may eat that fried chicken with that salad. <laughs> I think the thing is for Libras, they don't get enough rest. They don't really check up too much of, um, of personal self-care things for themselves. Too much stress, not enough of me time. So that can break down their health over time. Now, some of these Libras, October Libras too, okay, can be like Pisces people mentally. And when I say that, they can be dreamers at the heart they tend to express themselves through creativity to feel completed and accepted by others so not all but some can be loners as well they tend to give their all to people throughout their life and still be left alone and some of them will realize that you know those same people was just using them the whole time yeah, it's crazy because Venus is their ruler for love, but Venus isn't the kind of planet to just give good love each time. Uh, Libra have to learn a lot of tough lessons until Libra actually figure it out. And Libras tend to run into karmatic partners more than anything. So it's a big curse within that Libras have to break. And that's when Venus will bless them with their soulmate. Venus will bless them with that good wealth and good prosperity of life. Some October Libras may feel trapped within their emotional shell. And it could be from anything that bad that happened to them in the past. Um, I recommend that all Libras uh, check into a lot of self-care, self-love. Make sure that they're not just into any reckless relationship with anybody. Can't handle that. Libras want a real partner, a soulmate, not just someone to be claimed by. And, you know, at times that can affect them too, because sometimes Libras don't know who they're actually dealing with until it's all said and done. But some of them battle 
the love thing. Like, it's not always peachy keechy for Libras. Okay. <laughs> they do battle choosing the wrong person. And if that Libra settles for that person, if it's not a, a love attraction for Libra, it could just be another good reason behind why they are selling for that person. It could be money, it could be um, a high status. It could be, I can't say good sex. I can't say that. It, it gotta be something beneficial for that Libra person. Now, these types can also be known as the backbone of the family. Everybody weigh their problems on Libra as Libra makes sure everyone is balanced the fuck out. So you good here, you straight there, you good there, you good there, and just forget about themselves. That's why I said self-care is the best thing for Libra to always consider, you know, unless they are alone and don't have no commitment, no tides, you know, then you're good to go but <laughs> yes all libras is supposed to be big on peace unless you know shit pops off it may still take some time for certain libras to get on level 10 as they try to talk their way out of whatever situation that's going on you know something like what gemini people do and for other libras like i said they don't mind fighting they will fight <laughs> It goes back to the September Libras. They will fight. Now, some Libras, not all, okay, can suffer from emotional and mental trauma. October Libras, more likely, uh, will experience a lot of good memories and bad memories. And that bad can be from childhood issues, abandonment from any sort, bullying from other people when they was growing up, and so forth and so on. Some Libras tend to carry this burden with them throughout life and literally bury it within them. They may not share it with others, you know. So October Libras can be very sweet and sensitive, you know, as well as sensational, just like Taurus people. These types love having a good time, being flashy and spending money. If you good with a Libra, best believe they going to make sure you straight. For real. They can be the very bestest friends to have. Good people to have in your life. And you know. They have to have it as well. Okay. If they don't have it. They tend to show other support and loyalty in other ways. Some Libras may struggle financially. Um, that can also be a, a negative thing with them. They may struggle. So it's a must that Libras work, period, to achieve any type of success. You know, not only socially, but financially in order them for them to stay on top of things. Because nothing is really handed to Libras, even though they possess all this talent, creativity, million dollar ideas. Nothing is handed to them. They have to tap into themselves. They have to tap into you know, their own success, their own path to reap those type of rewards. Now, these types can be ironic. They could be smart asses. They could be tough. They could be brave. At the same time, they could be sensitive. They could be loving, caring. They can actually smooth out the chaos. <laughs> they can rule out some things here. People tend to go to them for advice, opinions. Which leads to that Libra person being a great communicator. All air signs actually rules that. Um, these types love pleasure and pleasurable things. Okay. Now as I come to the end of October Libras. These types may be antisocial. Now yeah they communicators but it don't mean we got to you know mouth to mouth. People they could be great writers. Um, now if they antisocial, this can lead to some of these Libras not having friends. It will turn that Libra into being a, a, a very alone person. And trust, I believe that every Libra 
needs and wants a real connection with a person, people. They want this, especially for a very long time. It just could be hard for Libras to trust people and it could be hard for the others to stay loyal and honest with Libras. You know, you just have to be careful as well with Libras. I I have to keep it real as possible, you know, even though that's my sign. I know some Libras tend to throw rocks and hide their hands when shit hits the fan. <laughs> you know, they tend to be in a mix of drama. Uh, they may end up being the types to start the drama. But when it comes to ending it, I don't know. Especially if it's not working out for that Libra to control this whole thing here. If it's getting out of hand and Libra is the main person in that drama, it's a no-go. It is a no-go. It is best if Libra stick to drama reality TV shows or just watch other people drama from the outside. <laughs> October Libras love being in the moment. They know how to take time to still appreciate and enjoy life no matter what. So if you see them here, there, and everywhere, it's an air sign thing. And it goes for September Libras too. It's an air sign thing. Libras overall, best kinds of people to be in love with, best kinds of people to love, actually. They come with so much great qualities. Give Libras a chance, okay? Any zodiac sign out of the chart can be compatible with this sign. <laughs> Don't take them for being self-indulgent as being selfish. Don't take it like that. Understand that no matter what Libra is going through, they will still consider themselves, okay? They are very generous already to other people. So they're going to have to make sure they good too. <laughs> they know how to compromise well. They always strive for harmony. They do strive for success as well as equilibrium. So, yeah, that's just Libra people. Good mind fuckers too, okay? They have the touch of being intuitive as well. So just be careful when you're dealing with a real Libra. Don't ever think you will cross that Libra person, all right? They are very intellectual. <laughs> oh, man. But that's all I have for you all when it comes to September Libras versus October Libras. And um, like I said, this is my sign. So if I went a little bit personal, then, hey, you know, don't don't take that into consideration. That's just me explaining it in the most hoodest way stay tuned for the next new video any requests please let me know it's your girl queen sweetson let's get this straight okay you're gonna look like an idiot which is if you want to i can help you do that it's my specialty 